Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hit man. Your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. Y'all heard? <laughs> what up? What up? How you feeling, man? How you feeling today, man? I hope you are having a fabulous, awesome, magnificent weekend. I hope everything is going fantastic in your life. All of your dreams and aspirations is coming to fruition. That is my wish for you. That is what I want for you. I want you to be happy in your life. I ain't no motivational speaker, but I ain't got time to be spewing no negative energy. Fuck all that. You know what I mean? I deal with my negative energy the way I deal with it. But I wanted to share something with you that gets slept on so much. It gets slept on so much that I have to record this video. Years ago, I would say about way before I met my wife, right? Shout out to my wife, Sharita. Love you, baby. So years ago, when I first met my wife, well, before I met my wife, like at least three or four years prior, I was living in Downers Grove, Illinois, and I was single. I was dating, you know, sh dating scene out there sucked, but you know, I was dating nonetheless and I was tired of the dating scene, right? So I decided to do this and I'm going to share something and you could do this with any aspect of your life and it will come true. It will become true. So I took out a journal and I wrote down every single thing that I was looking for in an ideal mate. Her height from her complexion to um, was she family oriented? Did she have a college degree? Did she, you know, like I wrote down every single thing. I literally had maybe 50 items on this list of my ideal mate, my ideal wife, right? And years went by, I, you know, I would skim over it here and there, read over it time to time or whatever. And then, you know, years later, after me and my wife got married, probably like, you know, two years into the marriage or three years into the marriage, I found that book again. And I said, oh, shit. I was like, yo, I told my wife, hey, look, come look through this book with me. I want to show you something. And I showed her the pages that I wrote what my ideal mate was, what, what my ideal mate looked like. She hit 48, like 48 out of 50 on that list. She hit 48 out of 50 on that list. So the reason why I'm showing you this here is that you have to write down what you want in life. Life is, there's a lot of shit going on. You can't just say, hey, I want to be rich. You know what I mean? God, the universe is going to give you exactly that. You want to be rich? Okay, you're going to continue to want to be rich because that's what you want. You're not definite in your purpose. You're not definite in what you're asking for. So the same thing, when I, when I realized that I was able to manifest the situation of me meeting my wife, because I'm from Brooklyn, she's from Chicago. What's the odds of, you know, us meeting the way we did or whatever. But, and for her to hit 48 of those 50 things on that list, right? So the same thing you have to do with your career, same thing you have to do in your relationship, write that shit down and be as specific as you possibly can. As you guys see here, I'm not looking to be a solo entrepreneur. I'm not even looking to be a CEO. My goal my ultimate goal is to be a wealthy digital real estate business magnate. 
That is completely different from a CEO. That is completely different from an entrepreneur. And let me show you how specific I am with my with my numbers. Worth $14.6 billion, ladies and gentlemen. 14 point. This is how specific you have to be. Your vision board does not have to have a bunch of pictures. Now, the pictures definitely help. Don't get me wrong. It definitely helps. But what if you don't have pictures that really uh, translate the feeling that you really want? I don't want to just put a picture of just any old house or any old castle mansion. I want a very specific type of picture, right? Um. But you have to write down specifically what you want in life. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that shit works. That's how I met my wife. That's how I manifested my wife now that we have three kids. I literally wrote down, I even wrote down her height. I wanted to be about five foot five, right? You know, uh, very close with her family. My wife is very close with her family. College educated. She's college educated. Like I wrote down every single thing. The only, She missed like two things. And I was like, I ain't going to hold it against you. You hit 48 and shit. We good. We good. But when she saw that list, she was like, wow. They're like, holy shit. I, I really, <laughs> you really manifested me into this situation. So I just wanted to share that. This is a secret nugget. This is my secret sauce. I do it with everything that I do. I have journals upon journals upon journals. There's something magical that happens when you write down what you want in life. I don't know what it does to the chemistry, to the to the brain, the neurological. I, I ain't even, I'm not even into that that deep. One day I probably will get into that shit like that, but not you know not right now. I'm going to show you another thing um, on my board. High income skills I want to master in life. High income skills that I want to master in life. I have mastered sales already. I love sales. That's what I do. I love to close deals. I, I, shit, I'm about to close a, a five-figure deal on Monday. You know, I love it. This is what, what gets me up at night. Sales copy. Oh, I got to I got to master that. And thank God I have a now I didn't know much about sales copy back then, but I had to write it down on the board. I had to write it down on the board so I can look at it and say, this is what I want. This is what I want to accomplish. Sales copy I already know is going to set me in the seven figure mark all, all day easily, easily. And then public speaking. Now, with COVID, the way things are. Public speaking has kind of moved into Zoom, right? Or public speaking could be something like this, like Facebook Live, or it can be a private webinar. It's really communication, public speaking. So those things, I write them down. I write them down. I implore you to write down your goals and be as specific as possible. Nobody got to see them. Fuck them if they don't if they don't like it's not for them it's for you. They'll benefit from the residuals of you writing it down, but it's not for them. And be if you a cold blooded mother effer, write it cold blooded ways. Like I'm a effing master this shit, no matter what. Do that if that's what gets you excited about conquering that goal. I want you to build your kingdom. I want you to build your empire. And this is my secret sauce on how I was able to do it, to come to a state from Brooklyn, New York, 20 years old, $150 in my pocket. That's all I had to my name, ladies and gentlemen, $150 in a brown briefcase in a boom box. A lot of you guys know my story. One day I'll show you that suitcase. It's old and dingy. It's, it's raggedy, but I still hold it to this day because it reminds me of where I came from. I came with $150 of a brown suitcase and a boom box. And I said, I am leaving that life behind in New York and I'm going to create a brand new and manifest a brand new life for myself. Was it easy? Hell no. 
It wouldn't be fun if it was fucking easy all the time. I like a little challenge here and there. Don't run away from the pain. Don't run away from the pain. The pain is a great lesson. It's a fabulous lesson. You got to be like that firefighter. Oh shit, there's a fire. Let me go see where. Run to that fire. Run to the fire. That's where you're going to learn that lesson. It's not a failure if you learn from it. It is not a failure if you learn from it. It's a lesson. So peace, love, and happiness and cash flow to you and your family. I wish you guys the very best. Go kill this shit, man. You got this.